You'd like to, or you already have, started fasting, but you may be concerned how it affects a variety of hormones in your body. Well, in this content, we'll be going into a small piece of data that shows the effect of fasting on a variety of hormones, including insulin, glucagon, cortisol, testosterone, and thyroid hormone. So if you're curious and want a science-based answer, allow me to help. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. This data is provided by a study, which I'll have linked for you as well as my notes and any amendments that may follow. The researchers recruited six healthy young men and kept them in the lab over a three-day period. These men underwent a simple water fasting protocol for three days, and the researchers took blood samples before the fast started and then again at the end of the study, the three-day mark. The participants were allowed water and non-caloric drinks, but nothing containing calories. So what did the data actually show? Well, the results are as follows. First, the hormones that did not change. Free levels of T4 thyroid hormone and cortisol did not change. However, total T3 thyroid hormone, insulin, and total and free testosterone fell dramatically from water fasting. Only one hormone increased glucagon. Okay, so to what does that translate? It means that the hormones responsible for metabolism like T3 hormone declined dramatically by over 25%. Meanwhile, insulin predictably drops because without food consumption, insulin levels will be at an all-time low. Another important hormone is testosterone reduction by over 25% in total and an even greater decline by nearly half of free testosterone the bioavailable form of testosterone, meaning the form that actually affects the cells of the body. These are massive declines in all of these hormones. Glucagon, a hormone responsible for maintaining body blood sugar levels, is elevated as expected. So this all means that water fasting for three days has significant effects on hormonal regulation that affects all kinds of different hormones in healthy, non-overweight individuals. This is neither good nor bad, but dependent on the situation. If you want to keep your testosterone elevated, clearly this is an ideal. But if you want to reduce your insulin significantly, this is ideal. Context matters. No doubt, although not shown here, the effects would reverse once you consume food anew. With that, I hope this proved informative and helpful, and I hope to have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. Cheers.